guys. So, um, whenever you're ready. Most of you have played a video game at some point in time. Video games have become the norm. They've become their own culture. Almost every household has some type of gaming device, whether it's an Xbox, a Wii, or a smartphone that you just play Temple Run on. Some use video games to relax after a long day. Some use it to cure their boredom. However, most people are unaware of the effects that they can have, especially on those children who play violent video games. 85% of video games contain some form of violence, and about half contain a serious offense. The rating of mature on these games is not being taken seriously by adults, and their children are facing the consequences. Children are being desensitized to bloodshed and crime. The more they immerse themselves into the games and act out these crimes, the more accepting of it they are. This study shows that after one week of playing violent video games, the areas of the brain that are supposed to be affected are less affected from like the violent words and crimes. Just, they don't affect the child as much. Children who play consistently are also more likely to have aggressive thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. In order to be successful in these games, the children have to be violent. Kids are being rewarded for the more violent that they are. Kids look at these games as fun activities. However, the decisions and actions that they were making in the games, to blow up one car or to shoot this person, would hopefully never be considered a fun decision to make in the real world. Slowly but surely, the association of fun and crimes will be created subconsciously. Games that include guns or other weapons automatically increase the child's knowledge of these weapons. They learn from these games the names and makes of guns. They know what they're capable of and how they work. Though for someone like me who's played Call of Duty once, would never be able to pick out an M16 or an RPK. When a kid who grows up playing these games comes across a situation where they might have the opportunity to use a gun, they might be more willing to do it if they know what its name is and they recognize it and they've seen it before. These games that most people consider fun could be a reason why we are seeing so many more public shootings. As our generation and the next gets older, I think we will discover more of the effects of video games and realize that parents should take the rating on the game more seriously than they do today.